Hi, I'm representing Walter Payne College Prep to do the CCML video contest for meet number three. Full story coming up in a moment. We have the moisture and that cold. For part A of the problem, we are tasked to find the weather that would be on Friday or the probability of different types of weather on Friday. And the three types of weather we were given were sunny, cloudy, and rainy. And we were given a transition matrix, or we form a transition matrix, such that we knew if we had the problem, if we, it was a sunny day, what would be the probability to be sunny, cloudy, or rainy? And same for cloudy and rainy as well. And so we formed this transition matrix according to the data that was given in the problem. And then we understood that we were starting on Monday with data that followed such that there's a probability of 0.8 for sunny weather, 0.15 on, for cloudy weather, and then 0.05 for rainy weather. And so then since we considered each day as a different state, we knew that we were transitioning from four different states. So it went from Monday to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and finally Friday. And so then to solve for the Friday matrix for the probabilities of how chance likely to be for sunny weather, cloudy weather, or rainy weather, we knew that we could find that by multiplying the transition matrix to the fourth power to represent the four states it goes through times the starting vector, the Monday vector, so, so Monday, the Monday matrix I mean, to find the Friday one. And so therefore the Friday probabilities are as follows. Friday is equal to 0 0.48895, 0 0.3, and 0 0.21105. And that is problem part A. In the middle of Botswana's barren salt pans, new life begins and must hit the ground running. This fall joins the largest zebra population in southern Africa. For problem part B, we're given a population of 100 things that are equally distributed along five states, A, B, C, D, and E. And so therefore, the initial matrix C shows that the probability of each being equal is 0.2 for every state. And the transition matrix is given by the problem as it shows the transitions is between states occur regular intervals such that A to B is 0.5 and they, re they relate the rest of these values in the transition matrix that we developed. And so the first thing we did was to try to find the steady state matrix, which we were tasked to do. We found the determinant of T to find if there is a steady state matrix that would be able to be found. And we found that since the determinant of T equals zero, therefore since the determinant of T equals zero, and the starting matrix, the start matrix does not have a zero value, but rather has values, this shows that therefore the steady state matrix cannot be possible and there is therefore no solution. For part C, we were given a coin that was a weighted coin such that you had a probability of a 60% chance of getting heads or a 40% chance of getting tails. You could, you would be continuously flipping this coin until you either receive, you either found two tails in a row or three heads in a row. And that was how you could end flipping the coin. So to find the probability that you would end on three heads rather than two tails, we set up a tree diagram such that it would follow as this, and we set such that probability S would be equal to the probability you get three heads in a row after tails, such, so that was the probability we were looking for. But we specified after tails because this would allow us to form a somewhat of a looking thing that looked like a telescoping series. And so we found different probabilities within the series that equal S. So after tails, we knew that this portion here would be equal to S because after tails, this is the probability you'll get three heads. And then also after this tails, this is the probability that you'll get to S. And then also after this tails, the probability, probability S. There was not one after this tails because this was already gonna be two tails and then you would have ended. So now that we've had a larger S with little s's inside of it, we set up this equation such that S is equal to 6 tenths cubed because this represented this branch of the um, tree diagram the three heads, and then we added this to 6 tenths squared times 4 tenths times s because this represented this portion of the tree diagram. And then the final value that we added to the equation was 6 tenths times 4 tenths times s as this represented this branch where it had heads times tails times this probability s right here. And so then solving for s in this equation, we found that s is equal to 27 over 77 which then shows us the probability you end on three heads is in fact 27 over 77. Forty million five hundred thousand all in. Raise all in. Well, I 
think I will call you on that one. Cole. Monsieur Bond? I hand. 